What is nuclear fission? When an atom splits up into two parts, either through natural decay or when integrated within an atom, it releases energy. This process is known as fission. It has a great potential and a source of power, but also has a number of safety, environmentally and political concerns attached to it that could hinder its use. The definition would probably be an atom that contains protons and neutrons as central nucleus. It splits open either through radioactive decay or because of being bombarded by the sum of type of particles known as neutrinos, and the resulting pieces have less combined mass of original nucleus with the missing mass converted into nuclear energy. Now what is nuclear fusion? Well, in physics nuclear fusion is a process by which multiple nuclei join together to form a heavier nucleus. It is accompanied by the release or absorption of energy depending on the masses of the nuclei involved. Iron and nickel have the largest binding energies per nucleon of all nuclei and therefore are the most stable. The fusion between the two lighter nuclei of iron and nickel generally releases energy in the fusion while nuclei having heavier iron and nickel absorbs energy vice versa, resulting in the process nuclear fusion. Now that we know what nuclear fusion is and nuclear fission, which one is better for our future? Well, it seems confusing that energy can be created by both fusion and fission, as they both appear to be quite opposite processes. But the explanation lies in the size of the nuclei. Light elements such as hydrogen and helium have a small nucleus and release lots of energy when fused together. Moving to heavier atoms, less energy is released. And in each fusion event, until iron, 26 protons and 30 neutrons, no more energy is released by fusion. Any bigger, it takes energy to make fusion happen. Atoms with really huge nuclei, such as uranium and plutonium, do the opposite of fusion. They release energy when they break apart. This is nuclear fission, the process by which powers the current nuclear power plant. Fission reactions are much more complex for fusion. For example, uranium-235 can break apart by a number of different ways and the atoms produced are unstable and radioactive. This is one attractive thing about fusion. The reactive products are not radioactive. Helium is one of the most stable elements known. Another reason that fusion made the way for our future is that it's self-sustainable. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.